One thing I'm really fascinated about since my childhood is a solar cell. Now today I broke this solar dancing girl and I thought I'll probably uh, take, a look at take a look at this uh, toy from inside and I wanted to know how it works. Now this is actually a very simple uh, toy. The main thing is the coil at the very bottom and uh, the moment uh, this coil receives uh, current it will move or repel this uh, this magnet at the very uh, bottom of this toy and there is a so this acts like a pendulum and of course this is connected to the head at the very top and uh, this is of course responsible for removing the or basically making this curl dance and this small piece of plastic was connecting the head to the body and I broke this so I'm not really planning to connect it back but I wanted to take a look at the circuit so if you look at the circuit this circuit is actually very simple there is a solar cell and this solar cell is connected to a simple circuit and I wanted to check the output of this uh, of this solar cell and uh, there are two things that I wanted to check I wanted to check the output directly from the solar cell and I also want to check the output from the from the circuit because this circuit is definitely doing something here in between so there is a capacitor and so this positive terminal is connected to the positive end of the capacitor and uh, there is also this uh, negative end which is uh, connected directly to the circuit so let us see let us see how it works and uh, I will probably use this light source just to Although there is some light in the room, but I want to, of course, uh, bring it close to, your, to, to a light source so that I can see the output of the solar cell. Now, first I'll check the output directly from the, no, not directly, but from the circuit. Uh, and let us see. So I will connect positive to positive, negative to negative, And uh, the moment I connect, I can see immediately that there is uh, some voltage. So right now it is 0.2, which is not facing the, Solar cell is not facing the light, but if I face, if I make the solar cell face the light, the voltage is now up to 0 0.4, 0 0.5, which is quite good. And it is not really constant. So it is still 0 0.5, which is not bad. So let us connect directly to the output of the solar cell. And I'll connect positive to positive. I shouldn't be doing it like directly using my fingers. I mean, I'm touching it. I'm, I'm sure it is not the right way, but I guess it is okay. We are just uh, we are just trying to understand how it works. I think uh, it won't break anything. So if I connect it to the solar cell, the output is actually much higher. It is point, let me check. I'm not facing the light right now, but it is 0.8, which is not bad. But if I face the light, Wow, it is now 1.2. Wow, this is great. So 1.2 volts from this small solar, this small solar cell. And it is quite amazing. It is actually uh, not bad at all. I mean, I'm a, I'm a bit far from this solar, this light source. And uh, it is still showing one point. Come on. Yep, yeah, 1.2. I guess uh, it is not bad if I look at this maybe maybe this rechargeable cell it is uh, double A and the output is uh, 1.2 which is mentioned here let us check the output of this this cell here so it is 1.1.2 roughly 1.2 it is fully charged by the way so it is one it is a bit more than 1.2 so considering the size of this uh, sm this small solar cell it is able to produce uh, 1.2 volts, which I believe should be enough to at least light up one LED. So I'm now hoping to play with this a bit more. 1.2, wow, this is amazing. So great, I'll probably try to understand uh, a bit more about this capacitor and the circuit what the circuit is doing but uh, now you know how this solar dancing girl works 
So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.